<laughs> All right. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Jeremy, and I'm here with some members of our budding young adult group. Um, we were having a, a conversation, and we were kind of just talking about that passage of scripture where uh, the Pharisees come to Jesus and ask him, hey, you're such a great teacher. What is the greatest commandment? And Jesus responds by saying, love God with all that you are, but also love your neighbor as yourself. And he makes that teaching really spicy by saying that the second thing is like the first. So loving your neighbor is like loving God. And so thinking about this uh, devotion this morning and thinking about what it means to draw us from the uh, deeper spirituality, I can't think of anything more worshipful or, or more uh more focused on devotion than acknowledging how we see God in each other. So we just wanted to take a moment to, to, to literally do that and uh, encourage each other and also worship God by, uh, by showing how we see God in each other. Um, so who wants to start us off? I'll start. I, Logan, I see God in you because I think that you're a very kind person and you're a joy to be around and kindness is a product of being close to God. And so I feel like you're close to God, which makes me close to God and it's just good. Thank you. So I guess I'll go next and I'm going to call out Sarah and let her know that I've always felt very welcomed by her and I feel like I always have a place at the table whenever she's around. And she makes me feel like I'm sort of at home in this way, which I feel like is this really strong identifier for me of Christ-like love. Um, and it's just something that is really fantastic and awesome about Sarah. Um, <laughs> I am going to choose Kelsey next. Um, Kelsey is just a very, like, open and very she wears her heart on her sleeve so kind with not only the job she does like at work but with us i've never met her in person but i know she gives the best hugs <laughs> you can just tell <laughs> just loving everyone with open arms even though maybe like we've never met in person i just feel so welcomed sending her a message or you know just letting her know getting a good cry out and that's just i just see god in just her heart I appreciate that a lot. And I can't wait till we can hug. That, that will have to happen. That will be lovely. Oh, man. A hug will slap right about now. Yeah. <laughs> but all right, I guess I'll go. I'd love to share about Sonye. And so, Sonye, one thing that I just love about you is that I know you are someone who is seen by a lot of people at the church, but I have, like, I had seen you at church before I got to know you. And once I got to know you, it, it, like, it just felt like you were another, another friend, another person, another member of this church. Like I didn't feel any different. Like you, I didn't feel like you felt you were in any position of anything different than us. And I just felt connected to you immediately. And I really valued that you had that way of just being with the group, being with, we are very, you're very present with whoever's around you, I guess is what it is, is whoever's around you, you are with them and you are listening to them and are wanting to just be present with them. I don't feel like you're distracted or off anywhere else. You're just with the people around you. And I think that is a really beautiful quality. And so I'm really grateful for that. Oh, thank you. Uh, I want to talk about everyone, but I'm going to talk about Jeremy. I absolutely love Jeremy. I think he's one of the smartest people I've ever met in my entire life. And I know that if I ever have a question about literally anything, I can go to Jeremy and he's going to have a very smart and articulate answer to anything I could possibly ask, even if it's really dumb. And <laughs> he has this way of taking questions that might be a little unorthodox or might be a little hard to ask and valuing your questioning, valuing you asking that question. Yeah, and he's also so relatable in everything he says and everything he does. He's he's so human and such a person that everyone can just be like, yeah, I see that and I get that what you're saying and I feel that for myself as well. So he's really relatable in, in so many ways. And yeah, there's Pastor Jeremy. I appreciate you, Eva. That's really nice. That um really encourages my heart. I wanna I wanna talk about Nick in the way that Nick takes extremely seriously personal holiness. Nick takes extremely seriously his own relationship with God and wants to also take care of the people around him. And so there's that kind of dual nature of our faith we see where it's a personal thing, but it's also a communal thing. It's a me thing uh, or a me and God thing, but it's also an us thing. 
And I've always appreciated that about Nick. And it's something I've seen, uh, whether I've seen him at St. Luke's or uh, when I was doing ministry uh, with him at, at uh, Georgia Tech. And I just have always appreciated that about you, man. Oh, thanks, Jeremy. I really appreciate that. Um, I'd like to talk about Anicia. So I didn't know her before this call, but uh, through this hour, I've uh, really found out that she's a very kind woman. And I also found out that she's in my, um, in my mom's small group. And she talks about her all the time. And even in this call, Anicia has talked about how she has loved those women so much. I can tell she's a very compassionate girl. I do love them. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Amen. Um, I appreciate everybody sharing their thoughts and, and, and really taking time to acknowledge the face of God in the face of our neighbors and the face of our loved ones. You know? I think most importantly in this space here, um, especially when we're in a time that feels so very dark and divisive so frequently, um, it is an act of resistance against darkness and evil. It is an act of worship for us to love on each other actively, specifically. Uh, with the hopes of encouraging each other, but also praising God for the God-like qualities that we see in each other. And so acknowledging that, uh, let's pray, family. Lord, we thank you for um, creating spaces for us to be transparent, for us to be us. Only when we're transparent, only when we are ourselves can we see your special fingerprint. Can we see your image in us? Lord, we thank you for a space to be able to celebrate each other because celebrating each other is celebrating you. For you are the one who made us wonderfully and fearfully. And so, Lord, as we go out into the world, as we live our lives, we pray that just in the same way that you allowed us, that you empowered us to be able to see you and each person here, that you would empower us to see uh, the image of God in the folks that we encounter out in the world, the folks that we disagree with, the folks that it will be hard to sit across the table from and have a civil conversation. Help us to see uh, your image in, in those folks too, even them. And Lord, we pray that also when we look in the mirror that we'd be able to see uh, your precious and beautiful handiwork in ourselves as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Appreciate y'all. I hope everybody has a good week. Um, I'm praying for you. They're praying for you. Blessings. Be well. Say bye, everybody. <laughs> bye. bye. bye.